Leonard, are you in the shower? I can't hear you. I'm in the shower. I asked if you were in the shower, but that's moot now. What? Moot. Rendered unimportant by recent events. I can't hear you. I'm in the shower. I have to skip the chit-chat. Emergency. What kind of emergency? Mathematical. 32-ounce banana smoothie, 16-ounce bladder. <laughs> You might not want to do that. No, I assure you I do. So I'm not alone in here. The what? Hello, Sheldon. What are you doing in there? I mean, she can't be in here. We were in here first. You can't be in here. According to the roommate agreement, paragraph 9, subsection B, the right to bathroom privacy is suspended in the event of force majeure. And believe me, I'm experiencing a very majeure force. <laughs> You can't wait two minutes. Oh, Leonard, let the man be. <laughs> Penny. 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 What? Move. What? Move. <laughs> Move. <laughs> Dr. Leonard Hofstadter, you are officially charged with two violations of the roommate agreement. Do you waive reading of the charges? Yeah, fine. Hang on. No. My client does not waive reading of the charges. Oh. Cool, I've got a lawyer. <laughs> and I've seen her naked. <laughs> Proceed. Very well. <clears throat> Count the first. On or about the 28th day of April, the accused did knowingly and with malice aforethought deny access to the shared bathroom in a time of emergency, to wit, my back teeth were floating. <laughs> Count the second. The accused exceeded the agreed-upon occupancy of the shower, to wit, one, unless we are under attack by water-soluble aliens. Can I see the roommate agreement? Um, it's fairly technical. <laughs> handle it. Top of her class, Cambridge University. Licensed to practice law in three countries and your face. <laughs> All right. Based on a cursory reading, it doesn't look like you have much of a case, Sheldon. Do so, do so. <laughs> oh, I'm afraid not. Section 7 here on the right to enter the bathroom in emergency situations is not specific as to what constitutes an emergency. No, oh, that's ridiculous. A bathroom emergency is self-explanatory. Is it? If Leonard forgot to trim his nose hair, could he barge in while you were showering? I irrelevant. Leonard doesn't trim his nose hair. He thinks because he's short, nobody can see up there. <laughs> My point is, Sheldon, the legal principle is ambiguity in a contract benefits the party that did not draft it. In this case, Leonard. So much for count one. But there's no but, Sheldon. That's how the law works. School. <laughs> As for the shower capacity issue, I cite addendum J. When Sheldon showers second, any and all measures shall be taken to ensure an adequate supply of hot water. I believe this supersedes the occupancy issue. Superseded. <laughs> This isn't over. No offense, but shower sex with you is now the second best thing that's happened today. 